It's another day to offer unto you the gist of the day. Instead of dragging on with my introductions, you know what to do. Just tap that subscribe button, like and share to your family and friends, your guys, your boyfriend, your partners, everybody. So let's get right into it. The 8th edition of the AMVCA Awards took place recently in Lagos, Nigeria and it was beautiful. From the people to the dresses, which is my highlight of the gist. I'm not going to bore you with who won the best dress or what not, well it's those stars of course. I'm just here to talk about one person's dress that is causing quite a stare on the internet. <laughs> and it's none other than BBN's former housemate Ifue Nada. My first question is What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? We know we said bring your A game. But that's not what we meant, Auntie. This Auntie just said, let me save you out with faces. My face on my head is not enough. Take more. Auntie, it is the AMVC Awards, not the Hedis Awards or Halloween party. Oh, please. That's not all, Sha. You know I've asked my first question good before getting into the second one. You know how celebrities spend their hard-earned money on events where they try to outshine themselves for whatsoever reason? Well, if another said her outfit cost 100k USD. This is a sobo. A cold sobo. It's cold. A whooping 100k USD for what? And tell how much is your net worth? <laughs> Who made the clothes? What fabric did they use? Is it from heaven? How much is the max gang gang? I beg, no, they give us lamba now. We're not small children. In as much as the look is somewhat creative, giving us the Lady Gaga vibes, I don't think you should have lied about the outfit. Jesus. See how you were at your father's funeral. You couldn't even make a statement there. It's a what show you're making statement for. At the rest now. Where do you want to wear the clothes to again? By the way, how Met Gala take consigned a award show? Even after all the dressing she did, she did not win best dress. <laughs> Even Tiana did not do pass like this, so well, what do broke people know? I rest my case. And by the way, did you see the Will Smith and Chris Rock stunt that I can DM me try to pull at the MVCA? To me, it was just outright tacky and not funny. This guy was just being too extra. Maybe that's why they killed this character off in Blood Sisters. On to the next matter, popular American rapper Kendrick Lamar has been seen playing football on the streets of Ghana. I mean, since arriving to Ghana, Kendrick has been very chilled with people there and it's like fame doesn't mean anything to this man, even with his life achievement. This is humility at its finest, but if you some of our celebrities, hmm, <laughs> smart in there, we carry bandwagon of bodyguards up and down, forgetting they are humans and not gods. And it's not just Kendrick, oh, that baby is in Nigeria. Baba said, bodyguard, get away. This guy even bought popcorn in traffic, yo. And he gave the seller a $100 note. Clean note, cha-cha. <laughs> it's the way the hawker was looking at the money. I'm not sure he knows the value of that money. Now I saw the driver call him back, say, oh, Benny, bring the package, Jerry. <laughs> Well, away from all of that, in as much as this gist that I want to give you is sad and not entertaining, I'm sure you guys remember the lady who was murdered for alleged blasphemy against Islam last week and has been in the news with series of reactions coming to play and actual people commending the perpetrators of the act. Although the police have said they arrested the two people involved, people who believe the killing was right came out to protest for the release of the ones arrested. Well, that's the breakdown. Now, Jamil Dangote's son-in-law came out to justify the killing of the lady. Now, how do you guys even reason these things? My God! This kind of person will just cause plane crash if you talk any how. And this just pegs the case. If you like, be educated or not, if you don't have sense, you don't. Well, he has been sacked from his post as a pilot from Asman Air. But in as much as this is nice, he is definitely the son-in-law of a prestigious man in the country. Getting another job is just a piece of cake. Also, it was alleged that he is involved in some baby mama drama. Hmm. And according to the law of Islam, an adulterous man must collect 100 lashes of cane and be stoned to death. <laughs> it is well. That's all I have for you on this new segment. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.